100 days of live here. But really quickly, if you're new here, let me introduce myself. I'm Claudia, the proud owner of Pink Teas and Things, and today, we're packing a screen print transfer order, and then we're gonna head on over to the direct-to-film room where we're printing up some orders over there. So also, just so that you know, I have challenged myself to go live for the next 100 days, and today is day 28. So if you happen to be catching this on the replay, feel free to join me another day on live. So let's get into it. I'm also going to go live on TikTok and Instagram as well. So as you're entering, if you happen to see me looking in this direction, that's why. So let's go live on TikTok and Instagram. Hello, 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 everyone. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Okay got that there alrighty so let's see so we're gonna be packing a screen print transfer order that was ordered today hey mama bear how are you hey Trina let's let vision speak hello how are you hey unbiased how are you hey mama bear hello hello hey Janet over on TikTok. Hey Trina, how you doing? Hey, hey, hey. Hey 40 Mari, how are you? Hello, I'm good. How are you? I'm doing well, Mama Bear. Thank you. I'm doing very well. Hey. <laughs> hey Queen Hey. <laughs> hey, let vision speak. How are you? All right. So you guys are joining me for day 28 of my 100 days of live, where I've challenged myself to go live, hey Audrey, how are you, for the next 100 days. So yes, hey, hey Trisha, hello, hello. Hey Tanya Walker, how are you? Hey Audrey, so we're gonna be packing a screen print transfer order. If you happen to be joining me, unfortunately I can't do it on YouTube just yet, but we're gonna figure that out. But I have a special code where if you're interested in our screen print transfers, there is a special coupon code that, that is actually in the chat over on TikTok. So check that out if you're interested. Hey, Cozy Co, how are you? Hey, Royalty. Yes, yes, yes. So let's get into it. So let's see here. This order is for Tatiana. I don't know if Tatiana is in the live currently, but Tatiana this is your order that was placed today so with the screen print transfers we actually we actually ship if you order by 12 o'clock noon we ship same day this order came in a little bit later but we're still getting it ready so hey 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 flip side how are you hello hello so we're gonna do one two three four five of the be real not perfect transfers five of the trust the process so i'm going to pull them in and i'll show them to you as well five of the trust the process five i'm actually going to include an extra one i love to include samples so if you've never used my transfers you'll actually have a sample pack just like i do with the direct to film transfers three four five okay so tatiana got several transfers here so she ordered five hello hello i love your youtube channel lots of good info thank you so much i appreciate that thank you i'm glad you find value in it hey everyone Thank you, thank you. Hey, mom of softball girls, thank you for the follow, I appreciate it. So I'm just packing up an order. You may not be able to see this TikTok because it is a little bright, but it just says entrepreneur mentality. Hey, your special occasion, hello, hello. So Tatiana ordered that. In addition to that, she ordered trust the process and these are screen print transfers. So 
those of you that know, you know I also offer direct to film transfers, but these are screen prints. And so our screen prints, we added to the website because it's a little bit more uh, you know, affordable. And so I had some people reach out that said, listen, direct to film is not in the budget right now. So I decided to add some screen prints as well. Hey, Vivian, how are you? Hey, MD Crafts, hey, hey, hey. Uh-oh, roses, roses, roses. Thank you for the roses. I appreciate it. Thank you. Hey, Kat, thank you so much for following. I love that. Thank you guys so much for tapping the screen also. Hey, T-Shirt Museum. Yay, finally caught a live. Hi, everyone from Australia. Hey, Donna, how's everything going? I hope all is well. I'm glad you caught a live as well. Hey, my love, thank you for yesterday. Absolutely. Oh my gosh, those were amazing. When I saw, I could see that you were making the party the party bags, the, the chip bags, right? I don't know the actual terminology, so forgive me, okay? But they were beautiful either way. <laughs> so to see all of the detail that you put into your party um, supplies, I just... I love that personalized touch, so I love it. You're very welcome. Awesome, it must be late there. So Donna, it, it's nine o'clock my time, so kind of sort of late, but yesterday I was sharing that I've started coming in a little bit later, just because in SoCal, it is hot, okay? <laughs> hey Tara, how are you? You're welcome, MD Crafts, you're welcome. Hey friend, hey. <laughs> thank you guys so much for the likes for tapping that screen and thumbsing up as you come in it's 2 p.m here oh my goodness oh wow okay wow so yeah it's much later here then Don. <laughs> hey Channy, how are you thank you for following so i'm packing up a screen print transfer order i do have a code in the comments as well oh there we go TikTok. there we go be real not perfect and so this order came in today, a little bit after, um, I think it was around two o'clock or maybe a little bit before two o'clock. But what we offer with our screen prints is if you order before noon Pacific Standard Time, it ships the same day. Hey, hi girl, Pearl. I'm great, I've been missing you, yes. <laughs> That's why, I've been on a lot later in the evenings this week, yes. Do you take orders from Canada? I absolutely do, yes I do. Send me a message, though, if you have any questions. Thank you for sharing the live, MD Crafts. Let's see. B. Diane Ward. Hello, hello. It's 11 p.m. Okay. I figured. So where are you at? You you must be what? Is it Central? Central time? I think what? Mountain is one hour. Central is two. And then Eastern is three. Hey, gifts by Nick. Hello, hello. Yeah, okay. I thought so. I was like, mm, let me think. <laughs> <laughs> hey French Connection thank you guys so much for the likes so yes 11 is central okay I thought so I was like I, I kind of remember you know <laughs> hey everyone over on Instagram okay central I thought so hey Holy Spirit help how are you thank you guys so much for tapping that screen so we're gonna we're actually gonna package these up so with the screen print transfer orders hey Mahogany how are you Hey, Gifts by Nick. Thank you guys so much for tuning in for day 28. I appreciate it. Um, let's see here. Yes, yes, yes. I'm doing well. I'm doing well, Holy Spirit. Thank you. I'm just packing up an order. I don't know if Tatiana has come in, but Tatiana ordered several of the screen print transfers. And so I wanted to pack her order before we head over to the direct-to-film room. If you guys want to join me over there, that is. <laughs> I know that's where I'm typically at. So with our screen print orders, one of the things that I do that's very similar to our direct to film transfers, I also include extras so that you can actually test it out, figure out your heat settings and all that good stuff before you actually start pressing the transfers you purchase. Hey Dees, how are you? Hello, hello, thank you for joining me. Um, let's see here. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh, that sounds good. Hold on, hold on. Get to it. Let's see. Miss May Madness, thank you so much for following. Talina, thank you so much for following. Now, Holy Spirit, help, okay? Said, so I got my order from you, and I've started pressing. Sales, sales, sales. I love that. 
yes that's the purpose that is the purpose is for you to get those sales so i i posted a video today on tiktok and it really kind of it was one of those things where every time i'm i'm getting these orders together i'm just admiring like all the color but it also reminds me of like where i started and kind of the journey of like how we got to DTF in, to begin with. And one of the biggest things was when you're doing vinyl, we all know, like when you get that large order and your only print method at the time is vinyl, it can be time consuming. And so I was willing to do it though, because that's what I had. And so I had no other option, right? So that's what we used. We used the vinyl very well, very well might I add. But as my orders began to increase, I started kind of thinking about the time. Like I will never forget, there was there was one order we had where it took us almost a week to weed, to cut and weed vinyl. <laughs> I kid you not. I loved your transfers. I ordered off the website. Yes, lots of sales for me too. That's what I like to hear. Yeah, so you see, I'm not just telling you, it, there really is a benefit to being able to buy those multicolor prints, especially if your customers. Once you kind of figure out what your customers like, if they're into the multicolor prints, done deal. <laughs> done deal. But every time I look at them, it reminds me of that. And so I remember kind of going through that process of, okay, once I figured out, okay, I thought sublimation was going to be that answer for me. Like, okay, I can get those multicolor prints. It's going to be great, right? But I quickly learned my customers didn't like polyester. So that was kind of like, a, okay, okay, let's let's regroup. Let's regroup and figure it out, right? <laughs> so once I figured that out, I said, okay, let's let's look at another option. That's when I started outsourcing. And so it was it was a great thing when I had the customers that wanted, you know, large quantities of t-shirts. It was great for that. But I also had customers sometimes that I wouldn't be able to service because they just didn't need as many shirts as that minimum order quantity. <laughs> Oftentimes, you guys know that are out there that are outsourcing, those minimum order quantities can sometimes really, really hurt you. Um, Baya said, we love the extras. Yes. Hey, mamas, how are you? Absolutely. When you create your account, let me know. I'll get you access. Will no, never sub on shirts again. I will never, okay? I do think the sublimation has a lot of really great applications, to be honest, I do. But t-shirts just wasn't, it just, it didn't work for my, for my customers, you know? So unfortunately, I had to choose other ways to do it. But that's one of the reasons why I am not a big fan of having minimum order quantities on my website. So you will, more than likely when it comes to direct to film transfers, you won't see that. The only place that you'll see minimum orders is if you're ordering custom screen prints. And that's just because I outsource those. So, but for direct to film, never gonna see it. If I could get away around it for screen prints, I definitely would as well. But that's a little bit more tricky. <laughs> but what I can control is how we do our direct to film transfers. And that's majority of what I provide anyway. So I will never do it because I remember feeling so heartbroken, like, oh my gosh, how am I gonna break it? Because at, th at that point, I think the company that I loved using at that time was a 20, a 20 transfer minimum. And so if I had another small business owner, let's say we only needed five or seven shirts, I'm just not the person to be like, well, why don't you just get 20? I, I'm just not. <laughs> I'm not, especially when I know what it feels like to be a small business owner, right? So that's just kind of not really me. Um, if, especially if I know there's no, there's really no wiggle room in that budget. Five is what they need and that's what they're, you know, that's what they're looking for. So that's one of the reasons why I don't have the minimum order quantities. I get that question quite a bit and I know why because there are a lot of companies out there that do have those minimum orders. Um, so yeah, I totally get that. Hey, Dawn, you're welcome. I saw the YouTube video today. Oh, nice, Wicked, I'm glad. I just set up my first printer, a Roland BN20 and printed decals, came out perfect. Soon, I'm going to do vinyl transfers. That's amazing. That is absolutely amazing. I think that there are many applications for the Roland where it definitely shines, for sure. So congratulations on the new printer. That's amazing. Hey, Mira, how are you? Love over division. Thank you so much for the likes. Thank you, thank you. Hello, hello. So let's pack up this order, okay? So we got, we have the Be Real Not Perfect screen print, 
trust the process and entrepreneur mentality as well as a few extras. So what I like to do a lot of times with these screen prints, you might see these little pink stickers that say use first on your extras. That's just so that you know that they're the extra transfers. I just ordered more transfers today. Can't wait to get them. Thank you, Trina. I appreciate that. Yes, yes, yes. Thank you. I was like, hold on. Where is, Ta is Tatiana here? <laughs> Royal, Royal Remix said, yes, I love my BN20. Absolutely. I think there's so many applications that you can use with that BN20. Thank you so much for the roses. <laughs> roses, roses, roses. <laughs> so let me let me tag these really quickly just so that she knows that she has extras five one two three four five one two three four five we're gonna do this one as an extra and let's throw in one more let's throw in one more let's see what should we do should we do small business owner or should I send her a choose happy extra? Or should I do the small business owner? Sorry, TikTok. I know it's so bright over there. I have to bring it kind of close. But it's like a floral small business owner transfer. Which one should I do? Small business owner? Okay, Tara said small business owner. Because I like the extras. <laughs> I'm going to order transfers from you instead of weeding out all that vinyl when the orders start coming in. Listen, that is, so like that's kind of the thing. When I think of the Roland BN20, I absolutely love it. And I love the applications. Happy, oh, okay, wait, hold on, hold on. Small business owner, small business owner, your last one. Okay, so I have two small business owners and do I have, I have one happy, oh, I have two happy. Okay, three small, okay, I think small business owner one. <laughs> I'm looking at all the platforms. I'm like, I see choose happy. <laughs> Denise is like, choose happy, choose happy. <laughs> I'm sorry, Denise, you're the only one. <laughs> I'm sorry. So we're gonna include a small business owner as well in there. So let's do that. So that way she can test them out before she actually starts pressing the ones that she purchased and i love that i absolutely love being able to include those extras you know it gives you an opportunity to try them out <laughs> thank you guys for your help <laughs> i'm biased i not not on two screens i think i'm going to get a couple more from you also absolutely absolutely let me know i'm going to actually um tara for you tomorrow i'm going to i know you were interested in some customs but i think i have an option for you that's even more affordable than doing what you wanted to do so i'm going to be um messaging you for sure <laughs> i love that yes okay vivian says small business owner okay we got it we got it then okay all right sorry denise okay so what i do is i just put them in the bag just like I do with direct to film it still comes with your instructions on how to press them so that's included on every bag hey 12 gone apparel how are you SDA Denise <laughs> I love that I love it okay and we love to say absolutely I love saving a good coin so I'm always looking for, you know, affordable ways for you to be able to do what you're trying to do. So I totally get that. So we have them packaged up. I'm just going to place the actual instructions here, right? Donna said, do you still use your Cricut for any of your t-shirts? I do, only because there are some shirts that I do that require um, that glitter HTV. So those are the ones that I typically will include that extra, you know, I'll actually use my Cricut to cut the, cut the vinyl. <laughs> yes i'm all about saving a coin listen it's not so this is the thing and i think this is kind of because i know what it's like when you're first starting out you're just starting your business you're like listen okay we want to be able to use what we have to make what we want right but in addition to that you also want to make sure that you're saving wherever you can because that's money that you can invest elsewhere so like let's say for instance if you can save money 
I'm probably the prime example of that actually now that I think about it. But listen, I started with the vinyl cutter, right? That was my first investment. Vinyl cutter, heat press. Nowadays, with all of these transfers that are out here, you don't even need a vinyl cutter. <laughs> Let's just keep it all the way real. <laughs> Trying to order, but I have to wait 24 hours. Let me get you access really quickly, okay? I'll get you access, no problem. Hun, are you in the live? If so, can you get um, access? Can you update the customer list? I'm gonna get you access right now. Oh, roses, roses, roses. Thank you, Nays Creations. I appreciate it. Thank you. And so, yeah, so when you're just starting out, you really don't want to take on a lot of extra costs because you don't know. You might need to kind of reinvest in some other things or, you know, maybe you want to hold inventory. Maybe you want to use that extra to kind of take some workshops and like, you know, hone in on your skills. You're welcome. You're welcome. I'll get that for you here shortly. So yeah, I, I'm just, I'm not a big fan of just selling. It's about what are some ways that you can actually make money? Like, of course, I can tell you all day long that direct to film transfers are amazing, but until you try them, you don't know what they're like, right? Until you try them, you can't speak to that. And so that's why I love when you guys come in and you, you share your testimonies, like you can actually sell these things, whether it's screen print transfers, direct to film transfers, it's possible especially once you figure out who your customers are. Hey, Print Society, how are you? You see a lot of cool and unique designs sent in from all over, that's awesome. Any favorites? So from the designs that are sent in, oh man, I've seen so many amazing designs, but a lot of them I don't show because they are, you know, like proprietary designs that someone's actually created and taking their time to create. And I would hate to show them online and then, you know, all of a sudden now someone's reproducing their design. You guys know how this stuff goes. So when it comes to the customs, I've really become very, very protective over, over their designs. And so I don't show them unless they give me, you know, permission to. Love what you're doing. Thank you, Prince Society. Amen to that. Saving anything in any way is a blessing. It is. It definitely is. Have you tried that? I have not, Eddie. I'm hoping to get my hands on some soon. You can show my logo whenever you like. Okay, good. <laughs> good. That's what I like to hear. It's just, honestly, it's just because I want, I want, especially if you're submitting something that you spent your time or you've spent money hiring a designer to actually create something for you. The last thing I want is to show it online and you not, you know, someone else actually use your design. I really don't like that. But one of the, one of the questions I got recently was, do I post, if I receive a custom, is that design then available for purchase for others? And the answer to that is no. Thank you to whoever just placed an order on the website. The answer to that is absolutely not. <laughs> absolutely not. Okay, so mamas, the website is updated so you should have access. Thank you, hun. <laughs> Do you make custom screen printing for clothing brands? I definitely can. I don't make them, but I offer direct to film transfers, which are created by a different process than screen prints. But send me a message because I prefer screen prints if it's like a one color design. Absolutely. What type of printer do I use? So I use Epson 7890s. We're actually going to, well, first of all, you tell me, are you guys up for going over to the direct to film room? Do you guys want to join? The only way I'm gonna know is if you start tapping that screen. I, I just, I need some, I need some hearts. I need something in the comments. I need something. Let me know if you wanna go over there because my husband's over there printing now. But I decided since I wanna get this order out tomorrow, um, I wanted to pack it so that it's ready to go. Hey Griselda, how are you? Yep. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> I love it. Tap that screen up if you wanna go over there. Because we can definitely go. I just, I wonder, sometimes I'm like, I don't want it to seem so mundane. But it really is what I do every day. We're printing orders every day. Yes, Vivian's like, yes. <laughs> let's go. I love it. <laughs> Thank you. Yes. Okay, let's go. Got it. Got it. <laughs> I got it. I got the message loud and clear. You know, I, I said I have to start asking because you guys might not want to see it. You might be like, okay, we've seen enough of that. Enough of the printers already. <laughs> so I just ask, you know.
you know. <laughs> yes, let's go. Okay, unbiased. You got it. Vivian said all hearts. Please do. Yes. Okay. <laughs> okay. You know, I'm just like, is anyone still there? <laughs> hey, Catherine. How are you? Hey, hey, hey. Hey, Miss Bella. Okay, so let me grab a rigid nailer really quickly. Because I want to get this ready to ship off. There we go. That's what I need. So let's see. I think we're going to go with this one here. Yep. And so when it comes to storage, once again, they're not quite as sensitive, but it is best if you store your transfers, even screen prints, in a nice, cool, dry location. So keep them in these resealable bags if you don't plan on using them. That's one of the most important things. <laughs> You're a special set running. I cannot. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Okay, so let's put that there. And then we're just going to write the order number on here. And we're going to weigh it. So that way... At the end of the day, I can do all of the postage. Uh oh. All right. So that's done. Let's throw this away. All right. So I guess we're going to the DTF room. <laughs> hello. Hello. Off we go. Off we go. Okay, let me just put this away. How long have I been in business? Um, I've had my business since 2017. When did I really start taking it seriously? I would say 2020. When did I really start taking it seriously? 2021. <laughs> hey, J Lux, how are you? Ice me out, hey. <laughs> All right. Okay, so I'm gonna leave this here. Turn that off. And now let's roll on over to the DTF room. Hey, J Lux Creations. Hey, hey, hey. Thank you for joining me. So let me just unplug this really quickly. So let's see. First, first things first, we're going to unplug this one. There we go. Okay, you might see a little change in the lighting here for a second. I promise you it will be right back. All right. All right, there we go. <laughs> All righty. All right, let's roll to the DTF room. Hey, I speak brilliance. Hey, Chelsea. Okay, so we're going to the print room. Off we go. Around the corners. Don't look over in that corner. We'll talk about that later. <laughs> hey, little bog, how are you? Had to do a special knock. Hey. hey. It's just me and a few friends, that's all. Hello. Hello. <laughs> It's just me and a few friends. Don't mind us. All right, so here we are. <laughs> Over to the print room. Oh, you're from North Carolina. Well, hello from Cali. All right, let's see. So we're printing up some custom orders right now. Um, oh, not this one, though. This is that one. So these are Epson 7890s. Hey, Mrs. Marcias, how are you? Hey, King. <laughs> I'm by <biased>. said, hey, King. <laughs> All right, young tigers. So I don't want to show this order just because it is a custom, but you can at least kind of see how our DTF room runs. Okay. Hey, my friend's hubby. <laughs> Tara said, hey, hon. <laughs> Showing love from Florida. He said, hello, everyone. <laughs> hey, Florida. 
all right here we go so i want to make sure i didn't miss anyone's okay i answered that question just making sure hey mike how are you let's see willow hello hello so we're just printing up custom transfer orders one of the things you need to know if you're planning on placing a custom transfer order oh ice me out i didn't i didn't know you were from baton rouge oh wow hey vivian <laughs> So one of the things um, when it comes to custom orders, you want to make sure that you have a high quality PNG also, or a vector file. Vectors are like my favorite. Hey, Georgia. Hey, hey, hey. I love your bubbly spirit. Thank you. Fun size creations. Okay. Now, what do you make fun size creations? Ice me out. Oh my gosh. Unbiased. That's your neighbor. Oh boy, look at that. You must be really close to unbiased, Ice Me Out. So fun size creations, what do you make? I'm interested now. Oh, you want to have Oh, thank you. You know, I beat the cut, you know, I'm just saying. <laughs> hey, Nedra. Hey, Casey's Party Pieces, how are you? Okay, Hootie Hoo Customs, I see you. <laughs> hey, Leo in Texas, thank you for following. Hey, Rosie Creations. How are you? Rosie Creation 2. Excuse me. Hello, hello. Thank you for joining. Atlanta Vinyl. Hello, hello. So thank you guys so much for joining me for day 28 of my 100 Days of Live. So if you happen to be catching this on the replay over on YouTube, be sure to turn on your post notifications so that you are notified when I actually go live. I would love to chat with you live as well. I'm the vinyl girl. I make t-shirts. Ooh, I love it. I love it. We were just talking about that, actually. Hey, Risa. How are you? I work at a screen print company. Been doing screen printing since I was, oh my gosh, since you were 18. That's amazing. That's an amazing skill, actually. Let's see. Contrify Glitz. Hi. Do you know anyone who does bleached tea blanks? I, oh, wait. Is it bleached? I think. Hold on, I may, send me a message. I may know someone that does them. I'm trying to think, does she do, okay, I know she does the ice dyeing, but I need to figure out if she does bleaching as well. So yeah, send me a message. I can definitely send you their profile, for sure. Hey, Tierra, how are you? I reached out a few weeks ago about custom screen print transfers, okay? Customs, 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 okay. Sit, how did you reach out to me? Was it on Instagram, TikTok? let me know because one of the things that I've been kind of discovering is on Instagram if I'm not following you I have to check this other little area that says like request it's like a requested inbox or it doesn't come to my primary so it may have gotten lost over there that may be the issue I even though I try and clean it out I get a lot of spam that kind of goes over there like hey you know Ice dye is fine? Okay, I have someone for you. Send me a message. Just hopping on to say, hey, hey, Deanna, how are you? Thank you for joining. Deanna, you like comment under all of my shorts over on YouTube. I feel like you do at least. Maybe you don't, but it feels like you do to me. <laughs> I love that. And my videos too, but I re I, I've been noticing recently your comments, especially on like my little shorts that I post over there. <laughs> yes send me a message um country five instagram okay okay i'll have to check i i don't have anything in my primary but maybe you're over in that requested area let me see can i follow you from here oh i am following you i don't see you in my primary send me another message just so that if you have messaged me it'll show me the whole thread if I have a design, can you make the prints? I absolutely can, Mrs. Macias. One of the things that I that I was just talking about, and I should have finished that, that whole statement, was how to actually submit your artwork. Because here recently, we've been receiving a lot of images that have white backgrounds behind them. And so I wanna kinda go over the requirements. Number one, Pink Party Corner, thank you for the follow. One of the things you need to make sure you have is a high quality PNG, or a vector image, which is that dot .ai, okay, image. Vectors are my favorite, but a high quality PNG is just as good. Make sure it has a transparent background. 
one of the things I I've been trying to you know relate to those that have sent in images with white backgrounds is place the image if you throw it in a background eraser place the image on a different color background whether it's gray pink it doesn't matter just don't leave it on a white background because oftentimes if you do that you'll catch it before you upload it and then in addition to that you want to make sure that you have a high resolution so at least 300 dpi is what we recommend and that's just because it's going to give you the best quality image hey diane clark thank you risa and diane for following i just love your content thank you deanna i appreciate you you always bring that energy i love it so griselda how can we contact you for custom designs so number one i do have a custom design section on the website so you can see kind of like the different sizes and pricing and things of that nature but if you want to know if an image is a good candidate for a direct to film or if it's in the correct format if you need help with your design getting it set up in the proper format please feel free to message me you can actually email me directly at claudia at pinks tees and things dot com or you can message me here if you're on instagram tiktok or youtube you can message me on tiktok and instagram youtube i typically have my email address right underneath in the description box so at the end of this video if you do have a question my email address will be below awesome thanks for the amazing info i'll definitely be reaching out absolutely yeah we can even help you get your design set up in the proper format for printing the biggest thing is we understand like i told you we know what it's like when you are either just starting out or it's your first time ordering prints from other from another company you know we want to make sure that we're sending you high quality prints and so sometimes am i freezing over here on tiktok huh let's see i don't know it looks like i'm still moving over here anyone else am i freezing on tiktok you, you can see me well okay i don't know um let's see so do i suggest buying off etsy i'm going to tell you this make sure if you're going to buy a print off of etsy you need to read the entire description because there are a lot of designs out there that cannot be used to reproduce to make transfers so if you're going to buy make sure you buy cautiously because some designers or some of the sellers over there are not okay with their designs being used for transfers <laughs> dozing i'm done <laughs> hey augustine how are you okay okay good on your end okay not freezing on my end okay just making sure because i'm like i still see it moving usually i'll kind of see a little weird movement if it's starting to freeze but i haven't seen that i can't message you on here because we aren't friends okay hold on you can message me over on um hold on i just followed you now you should be able to country five glitz you should be able to message me now i just followed you i learned how to do that you know <laughs> hey lady how are you but trina instagram uh, please send me another message because yeah i definitely can help you no so designs from disney are stay away stay away <laughs> stay far far away hey baby's booty how are you i mean i can't tell you what to do but that's my advice <laughs> um let's see Die mentioned prints. Can you please answer my question? Absolutely. I don't see it though. So that tells me that maybe if you're using the letters D, T, F together, you've been filtered out automatically. And it's not up to me, it's TikTok. So it depends on what letters you're stringing together. You can spell it out and say direct to film, but putting those letters D, T, F to, on TikTok together is going to filter your comment out. So you see it, but I don't or and no one else in the chat will see it either little crowns hey hey bestie how are you <laughs> baby's booty how are you um how do you know i think it's going to take you getting to know your audience you'll figure out like who your customers are and what they like for sure yeah, I don't see it. Okay, yeah, that's what I was, I, so it's filtering it out. So you may have to spell out whatever, I'm assuming it's probably DTF that you're typing, but I'm not sure. <laughs> 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 
Yes, send me a message and then what, what will happen is it'll populate all of your messages, Trina. It may have gotten lost in the shuffle, so my apologies. Charge it to uh, my head and not my heart. <laughs> I'm good, sugar. Good to see you. Yes, good to see you too. I'm with I'm with Mr. Pink Seeds too. <laughs> does that machine powder before printing out? No, it does not. It actually has, I have a manual um, powdering process. Let's see here, this says Tiger. What color is this supposed to be here? Oh, okay. Oh, it's kind of like it's fading, like a gradient, huh? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I love it. I love it. <laughs> uh, okay. So, okay, now I see your question. Let's see. Do we need to mirror the design when it's sent to you? Can you tell I only currently do vinyl? No, no, don't be ashamed to ask that. That's that's a perfectly valid question, actually. No, it does not need to be mirrored. In our software, we're able to mirror. Um, these machines do not powder prior to printing out. It just cuts the print, and then from there, we actually apply the adhesive. Yeah, my powder process, I show more of that over on YouTube. So if you check out my live, I have a black, no, it's blue. It was a blue background, but I have a live where I showed you how I powder, and then I also show my curing kind of in my shorts over on YouTube as well. I'm planning on showing the entire process again because when I first purchased my first printer, I had a P800, and I showed the entire process, so from print to actually press. So we went through the software, we went through the curing process, but some things have changed since then. I will be filming an updated video for that. Hey Mac, hey Nita. Okay, let me get to your question over on TikTok really quickly. Let's see. Huh? Oh, thank you to whoever just placed an order on the website. Thank you. Hey Nita. Let's see, can you do direct to garment? So with these printers, no, these are direct to film only. So it prints the image on the film, we then apply the adhesive and cure it so that then you can attach it to whatever garment you're attaching it to. I'm having issues with curing, I'm currently getting pinholes um, through prints. Have you had this issue? Um, number one, my first question to you, Di, is dimension prints is number one do you have a temperature and humidity um reader in your wherever you're curing your transfers are you able to control those two things and if so if you have a monitor what are your current readings because a lot of times when your temperature or your humidity is off that's when you start experiencing issues with curing and even printing that was me. Yeah. Oh, thank you, Gifts by Nick. Thank you. Marissa, you're on Instagram tonight. I'm used to seeing you over on YouTube. Hey, Marissa. Thank you, Gifts by Nick. I truly appreciate you for supporting my business. Thank you. I can't wait for you to get your transfers also. Okay, Pink Elephant, thank you for following. I'm starting a t-shirt brand and waiting for my logo. Gonna look into ordering from you. Absolutely. And Rissa, you I don't have minimums, so if you only want to try out a few in the beginning just to see if it's something that works for you, you are more than welcome to. Happy Tuesday. Hey, world class, how are you? Would I recommend the Rowan be in 20? It depends on what you're using it for. So um, I would say there are some applications where the Roland is really amazing. Stickers, um, even like I've seen cup wraps that are created with the Roland. Banners, you name it, there's a lot of applications. Now my customers have kind of come back and given me some feedback and one of the things that they noticed between the two, trying my prints and then trying prints from someone that's selling from a Roland BM20 is that the DTF prints tend to be softer, even after wash. It doesn't feel like paperish, right? Um, that was That's one of the feedbacks that I've received the most frequently from people that have tried both. But yeah, I definitely think the Roland has a lot of applications where you can really kind of get it going. You don't have the process of curing and applying adhesive powder, so it's a lot less messy as well. <laughs> No problem, I will have to control those levels. What levels do you recommend? So I would say, number one, you wanna make sure that you keep your temperature really, we can kind of run around 70, even to 80 degrees. But 
but I'm gonna preface that by saying pay attention to your humidity as well you really don't want your humidity anywhere below 40 or above 60 that's kind of that's where I experience the most issues but as you learn your printer you'll kind of begin to notice when little things are going on what to do so make sure you have a dehumidifier as well because if your humidity is high you want to turn that on to remove some of that moisture from the air but if you're getting those bubbles it's more than likely your temperature or humidity that's off yours wash so well that thank you thank you now here's one of the things I will tell you though I love my direct to film prints right here's what I don't love with direct to film unpopular opinion but it's the truth <laughs> right I don't really like a lot of really heavy solid prints so if you're placing your image if your image has black in it and you're placing it on a black tee I suggest you remove the black in your image so that it gives you a lighter feel you know and so that way you're using the actual black of the garment that you're placing it on to fill in those black areas but thank you I appreciate that because I do get a lot of questions about how well do they wash and I can tell you we still have shirts that we made even when we had our p800 that are still going strong and I don't even wash my shirts according to my instructions because I really want to be able to speak to if you don't follow the instructions what happens right <laughs> Hey, my, me creatively by Kim, how are you? Hello, hello. Um, I'm just getting started. Amazing. So are you um, just getting started in the t-shirt industry? How long is the processing time after I order from you? So Risa, it depends if it's a custom like your logo. It's five to seven business days. However, we are actually turning them out faster than that as long as your artwork is good and ready to go that five to seven business days and then on those ready-made designs so designs like let me show you guys designs like this for instance this is a ready-made design that's already on the website this design one to three business days processing time thank you guys for tapping that screen tap that screen i appreciate it hey ab how are you hello hello Thank you, I just bought a dehumidifier, so I'm headed in the right direction. You're very welcome, you're very welcome, absolutely. You definitely are. Thank you guys so much, I appreciate that. I see those little hearts flowing left and right, thank you. I'm good, love, how are you? I'm doing very well, I'm doing well. I'm working a little bit later than I typically do, but I'm doing well. I hope everything is going well with you. I can't wait to see the relaunch. <laughs> I can't wait. Hey, Little Crowns, thank you for the light seat. Little Crowns, I, I love it. Oh, okay, Amber. Hi, Amber Barnes. Oh, thank you, your special occasion, 365, for the lights. I appreciate that. Oh, I see hearts. I see hearts. Okay. <laughs> I love it. Thank you, Instagram. <laughs> I wish it showed um, who was tapping the screen so that I could thank you as well. But over on TikTok, I can actually see the where it's coming from oh roses 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 thank you for the roses i appreciate it all right all right so let me see little crown oh, thank you little crowns i always love the information you share so informative i'm gonna head off for tonight but keep shining bright girl thank you deanna i appreciate you for always bringing that positivity and i love it i just absolutely love it i hope to see you on another live during one of these other days that I'll be on here for the next 100 days. <laughs> I appreciate it. And you have a good night. I'm down in North Carolina visiting my mom and been working on the website nonstop. I love that for you. Like, I'm so excited. I am so excited. I've been waiting. <laughs> I didn't want to message you and bother you, but I'm really excited about what you have to offer. So, that's amazing. I can't wait to see it. Hey, Ladybug, how are you? So recently, over on TikTok, actually, there was this whole thing, speaking of Deanna saying I'm so informative, I love to share. I do. I really love to share. But recently, there was some conversation about that sharing over on TikTok. <laughs> I, I don't think, I think a lot of what she had to say was kind of, it was definitely in the vein of being correct. But I think some people kind of missed the message. And that was just regarding 
what you're actually doing. She wasn't saying it's, it wasn't okay to do tutorials. So in the video, there was this whole conversation about if you're making t-shirts, and she was speaking to t-shirt makers, if you're making t-shirts to ensure that you are not posting a lot of videos about tutorials, you know, showing how to make the t-shirts, right? And I think it was kind of perceived as saying not to share but I don't think that that was the message. I don't think that was her message at all. I think she was saying, make sure you're targeting the right audience, the people that are actually that you're actually looking for, right? Not that it's not a good idea to share. I think that that point was kind of missed. It wasn't that. It was make sure that you know how to target your audience and who you're speaking to, right? The message it did. It really did, um, Ab. It did. It definitely did. Thank you to whoever just placed an order on the website. <laughs> your taught audience isn't looking for t-shirt absolutely your target is not looking for t-shirt tutorials and so I loved the conversation because it did it sparked a lot of conversation I am one that loves to share right I love to share with you guys what I'm learning as I'm learning so even if you're in direct to film printing I don't mind sharing <laughs> because it's not a secret <laughs> right <laughs> it's not a secret it's not a secret at all what are you working on ladybug i'm printing up some custom direct to film transfers but i think it just wasn't perceived the way that i don't know if if it, sometimes it just takes some time to kind of gain that perspective it's okay to show people how to do whatever process it is right but just make sure that at the end of the day when you're starting out with your business make sure you're targeting Make sure you know who you're talking to and that what you're posting is speaking to them. Now, I am one that shares a little bit of everything because I'm talking to small business owners. So I'm showing you how to save money in your business. I'm showing you how to turn a profit in your business and how to grow this t-shirt thing out of control because listen, I'm coming back. I'm coming back to the t-shirt game. <laughs> I've learned some things and I wanna be able to share that with you guys as far as how to actually market your t-shirts and how to actually grow, right? So I share those things because I know who I'm talking to. But if I was here and I was only selling t-shirts, I would be sharing stories. So let's say, for instance, your niche, you're actually targeting healthcare. I know, I know, you know I'm a nurse. So you know that's where I was going with this. <laughs> I'm biased said, amen. Exactly, right? Thank you, hot girl Pearl. Oh no, okay, wait, wait, wait. Your code didn't work. Okay, did you order screen prints? Or did you order direct to film? Because it was for screen print transfers. For those of you that don't know, all of the screen print transfers are 30% off on the website using code pink screens. All capital letter. Pink screens with an S at the end. You are so right. Yes. So here's the thing. When you first start out, your target should be customers, right? TikTok has me lost. Absolutely, Risa. So I'm gonna give you an example. Let's say for instance. I'm targeting healthcare workers, right? That's that's who I'm targeting. I'm a healthcare worker. I'm going to make videos that healthcare workers can relate to. So we're gonna talk about things that I've encountered in my day without violating HIPAA. <laughs> okay, we're gonna talk about things that I've you know encountered in my day. I'm gonna talk about travel nursing because that's what I did, right? And so I'm gonna bring you some funny, these are my travel nursing stories while I'm wearing my, my apparel while I'm showing me making my RN t-shirt, <laughs> okay? I'm gonna share with you my story of how I became a registered nurse, how much I love it, because I know who I'm speaking to. Even on the days when I'm tired, I'm gonna share that story because we all know as healthcare workers, there are days when we're tired. I mean, no matter what worker, but you know what I'm saying? Like, I know how to tailor it to the people that I'm talking to. And so when you're first starting out, you are not marketing to small business owners if you're selling t-shirts. That's just not your target audience. You're marketing to those that you are actually making t-shirts for. So whatever niche you are in, you need to speak to that niche, right? My husband and I just bought a DTF printer, waiting on accessories to start. I'm so, I'm not so sure what video you're talking about, but I sure appreciate your teachings. So Ladybug, I have a YouTube channel where I'm sharing. There's a whole collection where I kind of walk you through. 
I'm gonna work on this because my husband actually kind of brought this to my attention that I needed to create playlists and so I'm gonna work on playlists so that you can actually just go video by video but I created a series where I took you through the whole process of me purchasing I talked about my experience then I took you through the software because I was really intimidated by the software at first I take you from printing to applying your adhesive powder to cure and press you know <laughs> so um yeah it's just that's yes 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 absolutely and by said congratulations ladybug that's amazing i love that i love it 90s babies yes okay hold on so let me see i know i missed some here user francine thank you for the follow hot girl pearl said great advice hot girl pearl did you order um did you order screen print transfers? Oh, both. Okay, so that may have been why. What I can do is I can go in and adjust it. Yeah, I can I can adjust that. Sorry about that, that's why. Um, I'm moving away from all tutorials and packing videos. Absolutely. To lifestyle and specifically 90s nostalgia because that's my audience. 90s babies. Now I'm not a 90s baby, so you do make me feel a little bit old, but that's okay because I know there's an 80s baby in your household. So. <laughs> Good night, yes, by Nick. I appreciate you. Thank you so much for supporting my business. I really appreciate you, and I appreciate you for hanging out till 1 a.m. in New York. I love that. Have a great day at work tomorrow, and thank you so much for joining me for day 28. I appreciate it. <laughs> so let's see here. I know you have an 80s baby in your home, and so she understands me. Um, Sharp Creation says, I'm an RN with shirt business as well, struggling my target audience other than custom orders. You know, I think there are so many different ways that you can actually kind of talk and speak to, like think about the feeling that you want that person, that RN that's wearing your t-shirt to have. Think about why you made, why you chose that design. Why did you choose the design? Did you just, because listen, I have, so I have someone that I worked with, really good friend of mine, and I love, she came up with a slogan, but it's something that we all say in healthcare, and I don't wanna share it because it's her slogan, and I don't want, <laughs> but I will tell you that immediately when I heard it, I was like, yes, yes, yes. <laughs> I know what that feels like, I do, right? <laughs> because it evokes an emotion in you. So when you created your designs for your t-shirt line, think about what that person will feel like wearing that shirt. How do you want them to feel? Where do they hang out? Is it Does it appeal to labor and delivery? Does it appeal to an OR nurse? Is it nurses in general? Is it a specific specialty? All those things you really, <laughs> gang gang, that's right wife, 80s, okay? <laughs> but really, that's what it is. You wanna make sure that you're aware of who you're talking to and how you wanna make them feel. Like, you know, and so what, what will your target audience feel like? You don't have to share this here if you don't want to. I totally get it. But what do you want your target customer? What do you want them to feel? Like, where do they hang out? So I know they're nurses, but are they travel nurses? Are they staff nurses that are fed up and tired and exhausted? Are they travel nurses that are like, oh my gosh, this is amazing. I'm loving my schedule. Are they tired travel nurses? Like, why do I keep getting the terrible assignments every night that I come in? Why do I get the assignment that no one else wants? Those are the ways that you speak to those nurses, you know? Yes, I want quotes and other styles as well. Trying to figure out how to get my designs um, in website. Thanks. You're very welcome. Message me. I have someone that actually does websites. If you are, I believe she only works with Shopify though. So, um, I, but I can always send you her info and you can reach out and see, you know, if she might be able to help you with that. But yeah, a lot of it is figuring out who your person is and like, have them in mind when you're making your videos. So like, I know that I can speak to t-shirt business owners, right? Because I do transfers. And so I know what I felt when I was going through my process. Made the calendar website, can't wait to shop. Okay, let me get you access really quickly. Huh? You did? Oh, okay, my husband's gonna get you access. Yay! I'll let you know when it's when it's um, updated. Shark creation, so true. You know what I'm saying? Like think about it. Because there's so there's a whole field that you can that you can go through. I guess it's I do websites through WordPress if anyone is interested. WordPress, okay. So I had someone, hmm, 
who is that that used WordPress? I don't remember. I'm gonna have to think about that. But yeah, I think the person that I'm talking about only uses Shopify. So now we have somebody that does WordPress as well. I'm working on being better to go live on absolutely. Absolutely. Social media. Yes. Team Hubby, I love it. Yes, you see, I just this is me and he's like working away. Although last night he tried to he tried to race me to the finished transfer, but we won't talk about that right now. <laughs> Thank you, Unbiased. I make custom shirts for all types of people, though. That's why it's hard for me. Any tips? J Lux, my biggest thing when you make t shirts for everybody, it lands with no one. You know what I mean? Like, it's really, really hard to make them for everybody. Like, when you look, I mean, and this is, this is the biggest piece of advice I would give you look at some of the brands out there that you're like, wow they've really kind of taken this and they they have taken it to a completely different level if you pay attention their niche they're, they've definitely found a niche <laughs> so they've niched down and they figured out their people and how to speak to them so they're not talking to everybody now if somebody that maybe wouldn't necessarily be in their niche just happens to buy a t-shirt then fine but more than likely they've niched down and so whether it's sayings if it's mom phrases shameless plug i love it <laughs> if it's mom phrases whoever you're targeting if it's nursing health care you just have to be clear on that and that's one of the biggest especially when you're first coming in you want to appeal to everyone because you feel like omg this is amazing i mean tap the screen somebody Somebody tap the screen if you understand what I'm saying. When you first start out, you want to talk to everybody. You're like, oh my God, oh my God, I have this shirt for that, and I have this shirt for that, and I have this for this. Right? Okay, I see some taps. I don't know, Instagram, are y'all still there? Are you tapping the screen? Can anybody relate to this? When you're first starting out, you want to make sure that you're hitting everybody. And it's like, but in, in, in reality, you miss. You miss some people because you can't appeal to every single person right <laughs> so you really kind of want to hone in on what do you love what brings you joy because a lot of times your target person is really you <laughs> i kid you not it's really you hey sweet savage hey hey okay i see the taps okay 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 i see instagram <laughs> yes niching has been a struggle and it is and so that's why I say, like, listen to, look, I, there's some definitely some comments here, even in the comments here, okay? I know a t-shirt brand that prides themselves on statement tees. That's what I'm saying. You have to figure out who you're talking to because, and I'm not just telling you this. <laughs> I've been there, okay? When I first started, I was like, oh, okay, I'm gonna make tees for everyone, <laughs> right? And it was hard to land with people because they didn't know what category to put you in they were like okay so it, like when i think of you want them to think of when they think about healthcare provider t-shirts you want them to be like you know what you know what i know who to go to i know who to go to hold on hold on hold on hold on i don't want to mispronounce sharp creations i know who to go to if i need that healthcare t-shirt i know exactly who i need to go to you don't want them to have to look through a catalog of all these different t-shirts <laughs> you know that's 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 definitely talking to niche areas but all those niches on one website is too much you just can't talk to everyone and so i know it sounds ridiculous to say that especially when you're first kind of starting out and you're trying to figure out and navigate but listen to your customers and like i said figure out what actually brings what do you enjoy seeing? What kind of teas do you enjoy seeing? Because a lot of times, things that you enjoy, that may just be, that may be your, your niche. That may be your niche and you may be your target person. So figure out who that person is. That's, that's the best piece of advice I can give you regarding that. It, it is a lot to kind of navigate through do you have custom screen prints or only direct to film? So I have screen print transfers and I also offer direct to film. If you're interested in customs, you can message me and I can let you know what options I have available. Thinking, <laughs> start small, then scale up as you grow. Absolutely, absolutely. Jay Cash, thank you for the follows. Yes, said Griselda, yes, okay. 
A, be creative, said Ortiz, that express your lifestyle. Your special occasions, 365, said you're so, okay, sweet savage, you're so right, right? It's really hard to land when you're trying to throw your targets. It's hard to hit your target. Think about it like this, right? I'm going to give you an analogy. <laughs> so let's say you're playing a dart game, right? And you're like, I'm going to hit that target. You only have one dart. You're going for the middle. You want that bullseye. You're like, I'm throwing it because I know exactly who I'm talking to. Okay? You throw it, you hit that bullseye. But if you have 10 darts in your hand and you're like, I'm, I'm going to throw I'm gonna throw both my hands because I want all 10 of these. I want all 10 of them. <laughs> you throw them. How accurate are you going to be? How many are actually going to hit that bullseye? Oh, my God, no. <laughs> I'm just saying, that's that for me, that's how I look at it. That's how I view it in my head is you're either throwing 10 darts at the board and hitting nothing, or you're going to take that one and you're going to make it count. <laughs> but Sweet Savage, Savage, Sweet Savage Print Shop said, you're so right. Is there a particular category you would group your T's into? Um, AB Creatives is asking you, Jay Lux, Sharp Creations. Yep, that was me at first. Simplicity for sure. And make it easier for the customers. Absolutely. Thank you so much for that. Yes, yes. Got some work to do. Huh? Susie? Susie, are you in the live? Did we get the customer list updated? Okay, customer list is updated also if you just created an account. Thank you so much for that. You do, but you know what? It's so possible. So just hone in on that, <laughs> you know? Hot Girl Pearl, join the club. I'm just like that, but enjoy being able to do different things. So I don't know if Susie is in the live, but this is actually part of your order, which is one of our ready-made transfers that's available. Mila, thank you for the follow. The hardest lesson learned. Absolutely. And you know what else you need to do? Are you ready? Once you are able to, and I'm talking about any platform, you can go live on Instagram with two people, okay? On TikTok, when you hit that thousand star going live, like, can we talk about it? Can we just talk about the going live part? Because it's really scary. And I'm telling you, I've been there and I'm a talker, but it's very scary. But start practicing and getting comfortable with like hearing your own voice. I realized very quickly that I'm loud. <laughs> I didn't know that. Okay, prayer two. Now I'm in trouble. Wait a minute, sweet savage. What? <laughs> Hold on. Hold on. Not not you in trouble. Mm -mm. <laughs> I think I want to talk to parents that didn't grow up with mom and dad and learning life. Does that make sense? It does. Absolutely. Hey, Reggie's BSG closet. Hey, girl. Hey. How are you? Oh, man. I was thinking if inspiration type tees that motivate people but then again okay 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 now why are you in trouble sweet savage hold on i don't want you in trouble hold on hold on hold on i gotta go help out sweet savage what's going on <laughs> um let's see here that would go perfect with promoting mental health i never go live okay sweet savage sweet savage like let's talk about it <laughs> because we are actually in the same niche you gotta go live sis Gotta go live, seriously. Even if you wanna join me on the live, come on a live. <laughs> Let's give some tips. You know? <laughs> but yeah, it's one of the biggest things that I would recommend. There's only so much you're gonna get to learn about me through a seven second to 60 second video. I'm not doing three minutes on TikTok. You can forget it, it's not gonna happen. You might get to see a little bit more of me over on YouTube, <laughs> right? Because I, I have a good, a good, let's say, at the minimum nine minutes of me talking. So you get to you get to know me a little bit more, right? But you don't get to see all of the goofy things that I truly do in this office unless you're live with me. Like, you don't know that me and my husband sometimes have races like last night to go figure out who's gonna grab the next print off the printer first. <laughs> you don't know that. <laughs> really love watching days away from my first printer. Excited to jump in, you're so helpful. I am so glad to hear that and congratulations on the new printer. Lady Elise, thank you for joining. Hey, wait a minute, Jamaica, Jamaica. I saw your videos, I love it. How was it? Yes, yes, come on now. Come on, Sweet Savage. Yes, let's do it. Come on, let's do it. I promise you, it's, it's nerve wracking in the beginning. I've shared that story. I was 
very nervous. It was shocking how nervous I was to press that live button. And even this to today, okay, present day, I still have moments where I'm like, I don't know why it hits me. And I just like press the button. <laughs> it's too late. It's over. You're live, okay? You're live. Absolutely. You have to start using those live features. You have to start doing it. It's one of the best. I loved it. When I first started TikTok and I was able to go live, some of you guys, Little Crowns, I don't know if you're still here. Little Crowns was around during that time. We had six hour lives. <laughs> you not and I loved it because I was able to not only communicate with you in real time answer your questions um, show you what I was working on it was like I had someone working with me and I'm a talker but for some reason TikTok, <laughs> TikTok does something to me I am a serious talker so let me tell you sweet savage you have not seen I wish TikTok let, allowed us to archive our lives like for a lifetime and not just for 90 days or whatever it, I think it's 90 days I pressed the live button my very first time and I played myself because I said oh my gosh I can't wait till I hit a thousand hey that to this how are you right I was so eager to hit a thousand I hit that thousand and I was like crickets deer in headlights oh lord what am I gonna do <laughs> So then I said, okay, okay, I hit a thousand, but like, what if a few drop off? Then I'm gonna be under a thousand. You know, I'm gonna wait until I hit a thousand fifteen. That was my number. I will never forget. A thousand fifteen is what I told myself. I'm glad to hear you're great. I'm doing well. We're just working on some direct to film transfer orders. <laughs> so I hit that thousand fifteen, and I was like, okay, we just gotta do it. We're just gonna do it. Like I'm just talking to myself. We're just gonna do it. Don't laugh at me, sweet savage. Oh. and you have a blessed night as well and when I tell you I stood there and I was at those tables that I purchased from Ikea you guys have seen them in my video the white tables okay I had my alcohol I had a paper towel and when I tell you I was scrubbing that table I didn't know what to say I was like Claudia like <laughs> I needed a mirror like girl step out of it what are you doing <laughs> why are you freezing I was frozen and all I knew to do was continue to wipe the table. And I think it was the fear. I think it was the fear of this was my first time going live. Are people going to show up, right? I don't want people to judge me. <laughs> it's all that stuff that's going on in your head. And it's really just there in your head. Like I realized people are okay with you showing up as how you are. You don't have to be perfect. No one is actually expecting perfection. Right? And if you come up in this live talking crazy, I'm just going to block you and I'm going to continue. I'm not going to make mention of it. I'm just going to block you, ignore, because you do get those random, those random moments where people will come in. But it's very far and few in between. Right? <laughs> Sweet Savage said, absolutely. That's going to be me scared to go live. Life-changing crafts. Listen, it's it's definitely a temporary fear. And once you get that first live done, and let me tell you, that live turned out to be amazing. Like, I was so hyped. I was like, oh, my God. People showed up and actually talked to me. Are you kidding me? <laughs> this is amazing. And so I met business owners that I still, to this day, talk to we have a connection because we sat on that six hour live okay talking about everything under the sun <laughs> but dealing with business though let me let me just be clear it was dealing with business but it was a six hour live that felt like it was only an hour that's how much fun it was for me and they enjoyed it as well because who's gonna stick around for six hours <laughs> right but it was an amazing experience. Risa, you don't have to be a talker. What do you go live about just working on orders and things when sharing out? It's one of those things where now, because I'm challenging myself to go live for the next 100 days, I kind of got away from it. When I made the transition to direct to film, there was so much that changed in my business that I needed a minute to really kind of make sure that I was being present and paying attention to things that needed to be changed 
going from t-shirts to transfers, that's two completely different business models, right? And so I stepped away from lives, but I realized that's the thing that I've been missing. I love being able to talk. I love being able to share, answer your questions. I love you to be able to come in and like, it's like we're working together, right? You know, I love that, that part of social media, just being able to go live. There's only so much I can tell you in a seven second video. So, I mean, it's, it's one of those things where I definitely recommend that you start using these tools. Thank you, that to this, for the roses, roses, roses. Thank you. <laughs> I can't wait to go live. I'm telling you, it's really amazing. Thank you for the roses. It is. <laughs> Amen. Block, I'm not stopping. I'm going to keep going. Allie, if you are afraid to go live, that is perfectly okay. We've all been there but you can't continue to live there. So you have to turn the corner. <laughs> you have to turn the corner onto Go Live Avenue. And so I invite you guys, if you wanna join me on live during this next 100 days, the remainder of my 100 days, please feel free. I don't mind. Sometimes it's kinda of nice to have an extra person there because then you don't feel like all of the pressure is on you. <laughs> but come up with some things that you wanna talk about while live. Come up with some topics. If you had a question that's really like, wow, I'd love to be able to kind of talk about this with others because I'm sure that the other people that are following me, there's somebody out there that could actually relate to this or learn from this moment, you know? So I, I definitely, I challenge you to give that a try because it is, it's so possible. Sweet Savage, it is so, it's so possible. It's so possible. <laughs> you can do it. <laughs> You know, Allie, you got this. You can do it. You absolutely can do it. And listen, I show up to lives as well. And I don't care if I'm the only one that's there. I will tap, 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 tap that screen. I'm sharing. I'm talking to you. Listen, I don't mind. <laughs> I do not mind because I know what that feels like, you know. I'm so new at this and can't wait to get more likes. Congratulations. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. It definitely will come. It wasn't until I made the commitment to become consistent that things just started changing. Show up for yourself and your business. Show up. Because I realized I was showing up so much as a registered nurse. I showed up for the hospitals, okay? I gave a thousand percent when I was there. Why can't I give that to myself is what I started asking myself. And so that's why I decided to rededicate myself to my business. You know, I, I no longer wanted to live that life of, well, I'll wait to the perfect moment. The time is now. Let's do it. <laughs> Let's do it. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome, sweet savage. But message me. Let's do it. This was my first time here. You're amazing. If I got to go, but I'm, I got to start tuning in. Absolutely. I'm here. I'm on live on Instagram, TikTok, and YouTube. So you can catch me in any of those places for sure. Thank you for joining me though. I appreciate it. You're joining me on day 28 of my 100 days of live. And you are very, very welcome. I wish you much success in your business. I love it. Thank you, Mrs. Johnson. The Mrs. Johnson. Your vibe is awesome. Thank you. I'm going to try. Hot Girl Pro, you got to give it a try. You have to. I'm telling you, hop on one of these with me. Don't be afraid to do it. Listen, this is a great opportunity. We can talk and then I can see your face. <laughs> I can be like, hey. <laughs> Hello, Yeshui Almighty. How are you? My apologies if I mispronounce. Thank you so much, Augustine. Hey, Nicole, how are you? Yes, yes, thank you. Hit that like button on the way out. Yes, please do. Impress Prince, thank you for joining. Loving the good vibes, thank you. Hello, I'm new to your live. I've heard great things about you. Thank you, Impress Prince. I appreciate that. Thank you, wow, and thank you for joining. I definitely will tomorrow. Yes, please, please. I'm live sometimes, so I'm glad I was able to catch you. I'm on Eastern Standard Time, so it's past my bedtime. Good night. I, my apologies, but thank you for at least stopping by and saying hello. For this week, I'm doing later lives, but I will be kind of switching it up. So some, day, some weeks, I'll be live in the mornings, and then other weeks, I'm going to try like midday lives. I really want to try and hit 
all of you know breakfast lunch and dinner pretty much <laughs> so um i appreciate you for stopping by thank you so much i really appreciate it but definitely definitely get some rest <laughs> hey colorful how are you i will be watching awesome thank you i appreciate it if you happen to be catching this on the replay over on youtube hey replay fam be sure to hit that thumbs up and turn on your post notifications so that you can join me live as well a hundred days are you kidding you have to join me live so here we are printing direct to film transfers if you are just joining we're printing up some custom transfers and we're talking we're talking about real business life so i appreciate you for joining hey girl hey i love it i love it hi i love the lives thank you so much i truly appreciate it i just wanted to come in and i you know i wanted to pack that order earlier but i knew it would be coming over here to finish up a few orders um for the evening before we end the day but i thank you guys so much just for tuning in for day 28 felicia thank you so much for the follow ready set hello hello how are you K May Crafts, thank you for joining. Petite Designs, hello, hello. Thank you guys so much, but I appreciate you for joining me for day 28 of my 100 days of live. I will see you guys tomorrow. Hey K May, how are you? Let me let me just do my outro really quickly for YouTube and then I'll be right back over. So I appreciate you guys so much for joining me live on day 28 of my 100 days of live. I can't believe I just said day 28. That's still kind of hitting me. It feels like day two and I'm enjoying it. So hopefully you did as well. Be sure to turn on your post notifications so that you'll be notified each time I go live. And also thumbs up the video if you found value in anything that I was offering tonight. I hope you guys enjoy your night and I will see you tomorrow. Bye everyone on YouTube.